I would say that Paper Petro is just kind of oversized. Huge tide pools, giant crashing waves. I think of the tide pools, they're one of the most unique resources we have here. It's really a spectacular, diverse, underwater habitat. You'll know when you find the tide pools if you see strange animals that you maybe have never seen before in the water, in the rocks. What is interesting about these tide pools that are below the visitor center is that they're so big and so deep, which makes for better tide pooling for people if they can't be here during a minus tide. The most common thing people are gonna find are giant green anemones, ochre sea stars, sea urchins, purple sea urchins, some chitons, some limpets, some other marine snails, and some different species of seaweed. And looking down into these jagged rock chasms, they're completely full of life, but they're also telling a story of how this coast has been shaped over time. And the same forces that shaped this coast in the past are still shaping it today. So you can watch the waves coming in. They're eroding those weaker sandstone layers and they're exposing those basalt ledges where these diverse species can thrive. There's so many different strategies of survival it produces all these different unique forms of life. But beyond that, the tide pools are also connected to seabirds, shorebirds, that transcends the boundary between ocean and forest. The terrestrial side, including the near shore, is a globally significant important bird area for the marbled marillette. This is a landscape unit that has conservation investments, activism, partnerships. Is it a threat? In some places it is. It's actually a threat because of some of the things that we do. If it's affecting the tide pool, there's a ripple effect that would affect the prey base for the murrelet and other seabirds. The public could engage in a list of actions, but if you're going to be effective, you need to raise your awareness and appreciation. There's hope. Find your voice. It's a sacred place that I can always come to no matter how I'm feeling and feel both small and insignificant but also very important. When I'm out here, I love looking for all the details. Different colors, different patterns. There's evidence all over of a rich history of this place being special to so many, including the First Nations people that originally resided here. It's a sanctuary. You can come here, you can be refreshed, revitalized. You can leave your worries in the ocean and leave feeling so much lighter, getting back to normal human life.